I have so much new stuff, I don't know how to present it. And remember, I'm really presenting to myself, and I don't know how to present it. But I want to reiterate what it's all predicated upon. It's predicated upon that I've recognized and am in what they call the three heads, the Keta, Hokma, and Bina of Atik Yomin, the three heads that rest above the coverings that occur from Eric Ampin over Atik. So this is called Rod Low. And this head that's uncovered, you see, which is called many things in the Zohar and other writings. It's the head which is not a head, the, the head that's known, that's not known and cannot be known. And this is all, for me, see, it's the head which is not a head. It's, it's an intellect that's not an intellect. It's a, it's a, it's a, the head that's not known and cannot be known, cannot be known in an intellectual sense. And this intellectual sense has to do with this head. But it's a risha. Remember, it's Resh, Yud, Shin, Aleph in Aramaic. And this comes out to a thousand and one when spelt out. And plus four more, it's a thousand and five. And the songs were a thousand and five. And it's my symbol of the Aleph and the Hay. And the thing is that I've localized this Risha, which is Rod Low. Rod Low. Everybody has heard of Rod Low, the head that's not known. And this Rod Low level is not found above the head. Rod Low is of another head. And when you talk about the penis, you talk about the head of the penis. This head of the penis is what they're talking about when they're talking about Rod Low. Let me repeat it because this is the finding. The head of the penis is what's talked about when they're talking about Rod Lowe, the head that's not known, or the head that's not a head, or the head that's not known and cannot be known, because it's got its own brain. And this is the gut brain. And the whole deal is yesod. Yesod is the bodily representative of Rod Lowe, period. That's period, because I'm talking about men. <laughs> well, period. And that's it, period. Because I'm not talking about women now, because the whole thing of this is from a Rod Lowe is male. It may be like Keter Malkus in a certain sense, but it's, it's the three heads that are exposed, that are not covered. Sorry. The head that's uncovered. And so what do we do in Judaism? We're actually born with a covered head. And what we do is, we change that covered head of the letter het into a letter hey. That's the entire opus of Judaism, the bris. Thing. Opening the head. 
the uncovered head. Hey, het rather, actually comes from the Ein Sof level. It's in the eighth level. It's the eight candles of Hanukkah. It's Shemini Yitzir. It's the eighth day festival. Eight is the is the infinite level. Six physical, seven spiritual. Eight is the infinite level. And this eight level, this this level eight, comes down, and you're born as a miraculous thing. And what do we do? From this ain soft level of the eight, we open us up. We open us up. We uncover the head and bring us down into the physical world of the hay. And there are three ways to spell the hay. Hey, hey, vav. That's ten. That's hey yud. That's fourteen. That's twenty-four. And and three vavs. That's eighteen. So it's the forty-two name of God. And these three hays are represented in the three things that one has to do for the bris, the mila. There are three things one does. Mila, Priya, and the Tzitzah Hadam, which represented by those three Hays. They bring this infinite level down into the physical world by the bris. It's miraculous. And this is Rod Lowe coming down into your body. And, and it's, it's the law of three. And it's Keta, Chokmah, and Bina of Atik Yomin, of ancient days when, when the brain is up in Ainsaf. And notice in their representation, by the way, that they say the three heads of uh, Keta are also represented in in the Rod Lo as this three heads also. So the, the three heads of Keta which come down but notice how they're spelt. And these are found in Rod Lo by the way. Even though they claim it's not it's Emunah, we'll count that as Keter of, of Rodlow. And then there's Tanug, and then there's Ratzon. Notice, this is, I only recognized this yesterday, that the concept Tanug, which is, say, the second one, which we'll put it Hokmah, begins with a tov. And ratzon, third head, begins with a resh. And these are the two dinam letters of the word keta. So it's not like a coincidence that tanuk and ratzon are found in the heads of Keta. And what I've done, that cough, by the, cough, by the way, they call it Emunah. Well, this is, this is faith. It's, uh, we'll count it as Emunah. This all goes into the yesod of the gut brain. The brain that doesn't think in words. The brain, the brain that has its own brain. Remember, there are three brains now. 
The gut brain, which used to be considered second brain, is really the third brain. The enteric brain is the third brain. That third brain is no longer with the autonomic nervous system, which is the second brain. It's, it's on its own now as a third. And intestine, which means enteric, that looks like the Nahash. And the Nahash to me is the, is the penis, the Amma. Forearm, the cubit, the Amma, the middle finger. It's the penis. Amma for emuna. Instead of emuna as the highest level, we have Amma. And all this comes to the Aleph, because the Aleph is represented in this Yesod area as two testicles of Netzak and Hod, and the Vav in between, which is from Keta. And that Vav is the phallus, the penis. And so this is how we proceed. Once, now, once you recognize this, the rod low is in the penis, in the head of the penis. That we've done the mila on, and then the paria on, and then the mitzitza hadam on, which are the three heads of in the highest level of rod low, and the law of three itself. And the representation in the Aleph, which you look at when you say the Shema, then you make the Aleph sign with the hand in front of a closed set of eyes, which I have things about that here. I, I, I did a couple of days. I'm forgetting. I didn't send them, speak them down. And some gematria of Rod Lowe, I forget already. No, I don't want to look it up now. Oh, just so happened to turn to the page. Thank you. Rod Lowe's gematria is 1,119. That's the gematria, but that, that, wait till you hear this now. That's Rod Low as a gematria of 1,119. That would be the Shema with closed eyes and an olive in front, in the, in the hand. And why should you close your eyes? Because you're doing a sexual intercourse. It comes from Yesod. And you don't want to look. It's not polite. You're not looking at the Aleph, the extra Aleph, which who is Hashem, and is the letter Risha, uh, 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 Risha the name head, Risha, 1001 in Gematria. But wait till you hear this, and this is complicated. Atik Yomin, if you do the Gematria 696. Eric Anpin is, is 422 in the Gematria. And that comes together as 1,118. So in other words, when you say the Shema, you're saying Eric Anpin and Atik Yomin. And these two plus one equal Rod Low. Now, nobody's ever said this. And what would this all mean? 
you see. And the whole secret of this is that the secret's in the bris. And so what does it mean, the secret's in the bris? It means it's in the sexuality of the human being. This highest levels come through, and it, it, we know that all problems come from the bris. How to, how to manifest that, how to regulate it, how to handle that energy, which is the other two names in the three heads of Keta. Because now we're calling Ama the first head, instead of Emunah, calling it Ama. Then the second head is Tanu, pleasure. Okay? Pleasure from the Tov of the Keta. What's pleasure? Sexual pleasure. Third head is Ratzon, the Resh of Keta. What's Rod's own? Sexual desire. These things all have to do with the drive, the, the death drive, the Freudian drive, the Lacanian drive, the drive principle itself, which is, is, is drives within itself as a perpetual circle. whose aim is the drive itself. It has no goal except the drive, except its sexual pulse. It's yesod. It's samak and yesod. With the, with the other letters, a yud, the seed. This is a new Judaism here. Let's face it. Okay? It's... It's the real secret. It's a Freud. Somebody told him, don't worry. <sighs> Rod Lowe, this Rod Lowe is Ain Sof. Ain Sof means without stopping. Sof is in the stomach of a circle. And then, and then Sof and then 86 Elohim. Samek 86, Sof, is the din. But it's the circle, ain't soft, it goes around. It's the drive. Ain't soft is the drive. It's manifesting down so into Rod Low. Rod Low, in this sense, is a. a, a, a Then the Utah, I saw is a word named chastity. And that's another word for Rod Lowe. The whole thing is a sexual pulse. Sexual energy. And how you handle it and manifest it is depending on you. Depending on what you do. A recognition of that power. That's the godly power within you. Deeper than intellect. It's able to create children, isn't it? So when we're dealing now, we're dealing in, if you can't, all this comes through, and it's yesod. And the same thing has how yesod is the, is the uh, all the five dinam come into yesod. The five sephirot of Zer Ampen come into Yasod. The, the other eight come into Yasod as the ninth, and then the Eyasod comes into to, to Malkus. And these whole idea as is is the, the three bris on the sef on. I'm repeat. I have a lot to say, but you know, the, when you get off uh, to a sexual mode, you kind of like talking about things. So we'll think a little in this. This is a very deep issue. There's a lot of things that happen to me are related to that, and one of them is. 
the relationships between Cain and Hevel.